Jerry Seinfeld has a new co-star in his, uh, his comedy shows. Uh, it's basically whoever stands up in the crowd You're to right. heckle him. It's become a regular thing now. And his latest show uh, was down in Australia, in Sydney, this weekend. And yes, there was uh, another heckler who stood up, uh, a protester. Um, and it seems like Jerry's become the lightning bolt now for people protesting the war between Israel and Hamas. Well, he's spoken out, and yes. he, you know, he knew I think this was going to happen, and now he's leaning into it. I agree with you. I think he definitely knew because he leaned into it like more than he ever has before, and was even sort of going back and forth. Uh, with the heckler as security uh, was removing him. Watch this. Uh, we have a genius, ladies and gentlemen. He solved the Middle East. He solved it. It's the Jewish comedians. That's who we have to get. They're the ones doing everything. It's a comedy show, you know. Yeah. Just mocking him. He, he also said, like, when it, the exchange first started, Jerry actually said, um, they're going to be punching you in about 30 seconds. So uh, go ahead and get out what you got to say, because he knew security was coming. I don't know that they actually punched the guy. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they did, Charles. I do think it's very clear, though, that Jerry has changed up how he's dealing with these interruptions. If And I know we've yeah. talked about this, the Duke commencement address when some of the students got up. Jerry sort of let that happen, and he didn't have much of a reaction. Uh, look, he's on this big tour. He knows this is going to continue to happen, and I don't think he's just not, not going to sit there and take it anymore. He's going to jab back and forth with the protesters, and, and I think that's, that's certainly a decision that he's made here. He's not just going to listen to it anymore.